Hello and welcome to a VO's Journey podcast. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Wednesday, May 5th. I'm very excited to be bringing this podcast to you today. Today, we are going to be diving into some more information about uh, the agency, the voiceover agency that, uh, that I'm creating and what steps I've taken and what results I'm getting right now from implementing some new marketing strategies and things. And I'm, I'm really excited to dive in with you and discuss it. All right, let's do it. This is VO's Journey. With your host, the incomparable Anthony Pika. All right, so it is good to be back on this podcast. It is... Uh, pretty darn amazing. We're on episode 209, so we're moving right along. And, you know, on the last episode, I've got such good uh, feedback. Uh, so many people, you know, reached out and and was just interested and excited and, and just as much as I am. And, you know, I'm really thrilled uh, to be bringing a VO's Journey Elite, the group, uh, you know, and, and taking it and adding a step further and turning that group into not only a place to learn and grow your business in a community, but also with that community, help each other uh, actually get voiceover work through uh, the agency. So I'm very excited about that. And I wanted to tell you what you know I've been working on and and trying to begin to uh, really you know move forward with the whole thing. So I think, For me and those of you who've worked with me, um, you know, I'm a big advocate for proving, you know, proof of concept. (laughs) Like I, I, uh, you know, ever since I started working with voice actors, my big rule for myself and, you know, my coaching services was that I wasn't going to teach anybody anything that I hadn't already done and was successful at. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to, you know, I I could tell people all sorts of ideas I have. And sometimes I do, you know, just let them, you know, know that I have ideas. But I I don't coach people, especially through my mentorship program, with things that I have not done myself and have not been successful with. So, you know, with the voiceover agency, you know, it's the same thing. I, I want to make sure that I can prove to myself first, you know, that I can, you know, set out uh, or set, you know, write down or, you know, set up a certain um, uh, certain bit of objectives and reach those objectives. So that way, when I bring in 5, 10, 15, 40, 100 voice actors, right, that I can guarantee, at least through the agency, that I'm going to be able to bring in some work and be able to make this whole thing happen. So, With all that being said, I want to kind of tell you what I've been doing, where I am right now, and where we are with the proof of concept. So up to this point, um, you know, I've made uh, all of my voiceover money. I would say about 90, 95% of it by really milking voiceover websites, you know, to the, to the, to the, to the top, you know, meaning like, you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, I make you know, five to seven to ten thousand dollars a month through Fiverr. Uh, I make you know money through ACX on a monthly basis. I make money through people per hour. I make money through Voice Realm. I make you know thousand to two thousand dollars a month on Voice Realm. I make uh, money through um, sometimes you know sometimes Voices dot com or Voices one two three. Not very much, uh, but then I have some private clients that I make a couple thousand dollars a month through. And so like I've I've done, but those private clients clients came to me pretty much from working off of websites. Okay. And, you know, I have built now my coaching business through social media, you know, through this podcast, through my YouTube channel, through my Facebook group, uh, through Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram, uh, and all that jazz. Right. And, you know, um, but, when it comes to generating voiceover work, 
not through a website, all right, uh, or someone else finding that business, okay, I have not generated more than 5% of my business. And for me, which is, which if you think about it, is very interesting because, you know, uh, you I, I make six figures a year through voiceover, through voiceover websites. Do you know what I mean? So it is very possible. I'm doing it. Uh, and, you know, it's a great thing. However, you know, getting business for, you know, a hundred other voice actors, bringing that amount of business in, you know, cannot be done just, you know, through other people's voiceover websites. I need to find, I needed to find a way, uh, you know, what I'm working on right now is finding ways to bring that business straight to my website, Anthony Pica VO, and on a consistent basis uh, that does not involve me depending on other people's websites. So that is the kind of criteria that I've been setting out and setting down to uh, work on and to bring uh, myself voiceover business completely uh, separate from any other business that I get via Fiverr or Upwork or ACX or People Per Hour or Voquint or uh, any any of those, any websites, you know, uh, Voice Realm, Voice Jungle, all these places, you know, and I didn't mention Voice Jungle that I make money. I make, you know, a, about $1,000 every month. Like I make a lot of money from all these different websites a month. And that adds up to a very nice income, at least I, you know, for me, I, I like. And, but, but I need to be able to do that separate from all of them. And the thing is, they're doing it, they're bringing business to their site for the same thing. All right. And what was the idea behind, uh, you know, the, the, this new voiceover agency, right? Was that it was going to be not only about, you know, bringing, you know, voiceover work to the site for people like these other websites, but it was going to be about us as a community working together to bring business and to be more, um, uh, you know, to, to, to get ourselves more out there together as a community, as opposed to just one person against the world. You know, and all of us are really just, you know, like one person running our own business as opposed to, you know, the the word co-op always comes to my mind, but it's not a co-op. I mean, as that word means, but it's more, you know, the idea is, is that we as a group of people work together actively through social media, through all the channels that we have to grow our businesses. But by doing that, it grows all of our businesses. And on top of that, we cap that number so that that number does not, you know, go beyond uh, like, you know, thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands like many of these websites because, you know, their growth, which and, and listen, I don't I understand, you know what I mean? I, I understand the Voices.com business model. I understand Voice Realm business model. I understand all these other business models and there's nothing wrong with them. Fiverr's business model. Do you know what I mean? I think a VO's journey. And, you know, we, you know, we've, we've tossed around some names for the voiceover agency, but, you know, this agency is going to have a business model that's uh, similar to a lot of these in order to make money so the business can uh, actually generate clients um, for the voice actors. But more, more importantly, what these businesses don't do, right, is, is, is utilize everybody as a team to work together to help them grow their businesses, but also help, you know, in, in turn helping you grow everybody's business. So if everybody, for example, on the voiceover agency has their own page on that platform, like Fiverr per se, or any of these other places, and you are sending people, see like, here's, here's a perfect example. I don't like to send people to my Fiverr gig personally, not because I'm ashamed of Fiverr, you guys know I'm not, but more so because I feel like I'm sending people to my Fiverr gig instead of sending them to my own site. And by sending them to my Fiverr gig, I got to pay Fiverr 20% plus the client pays them another 5 or 10%, right? So Fiverr is getting like 30% for me sending clients there was if I sent them to my own website, right? I can get, you know, I, they don't pay an extra 10% and I don't pay 20%. 
You see what I mean? So I feel like everything that comes through Fiverr, though, I keep on Fiverr because that's legitimately Fiverr's stuff. They've worked, they've paid for it, they've worked for it, etc. So I have no problem with that, and I respect them. Same with all the other websites that I'm on. But with our website, or and and with a with the agency website that's going to be, you know, we're going to make sure that you know the the business that comes to that site. We're all like the the part of this this idea of the co-op in in a way is that everybody drives traffic to this website, right? Because we drive traffic to our particular pages, but by doing that, it grows the website, it grows the traffic. People are then able to look around, and a lot of the argument by you know also sending business to Fiverr was that well everybody's going to have options, like there's going to be so many options. Well, by capping it, the options are not that much in that sense, right? But it, but more importantly, we as a group work together because we know that if we do that and someone does go with someone else, someone else could go with us, et cetera, and vice versa. And building that community together through our weekly meetings, because that's something that no other website does, that we, that we're, go, I mean, that no other agency does. And we're going to continue to meet Wednesdays and Saturdays, right? And growing our businesses, working together on making it better through acting and, and through coaching and through marketing and through uh, the technical work and, and through the business side and all of these things that go through and me actively being able to show people how to set up their pages, what to do, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a really cool, um, it's a really cool way for us to unite and use, you know, use each other as our resources to help all of us grow. But, uh, you know, I kind of, uh, digress went backwards a little bit, but what I'm doing currently right now though, to, um, kind of build this proof of concept is that we need traffic and organic traffic of course is the most sought after traffic because it's free and you know it can come in a massive droves however it is the most difficult so the other thing that you know I'm working on right now that I've really never done before is I've launched my first Google ad and uh, you know, this is something that I've done f- uh, Facebook ads briefly in the past, uh, but I've always, you know, I've either sent them to Fiverr or you know, I've not really uh, done a lot with them other than just you know trying something out here or there and, and and basically wasting money. But with the Google ads, right? I'm I'm just starting to uh, just about. It's been about a week since I've kicked it off, working on it, uh, starting to learn how to have the ad say the right things, what works great, et cetera. I'm just uh, running one ad right now. And as of the week, I wanted to give you kind of some stats, you know, um, now there's no work so far that's come through in this particular uh, cycle. Um, although I've done a lot of changes to try to see if I can get the ads, you know, more and more. So, so far we've had about 7.25 thousand impressions, all right, on the ad, I've had 94 clicks. So, you know, that's that's something, 94 clicks. And we've had uh, nine conversions. And the conversion is basically through analytics, uh, through this uh, Google Ads, I can set goals. Like, for example, when they come to my website, uh, do they click on, you know, a button? You know, like, do they click on the continue button at the top of the page? Do they go to a checkout page? You know what I mean? Do they go this? Do they go to that? You know, what is it that they're going to? And et cetera, et cetera. So that is something that I have, um, I've been working on and we've had some, you know, I mean, it's, it's starting to work, work solely with the conversions, you know, the clicks is great, gets to one place, the conversions, you know, is what people actions people are taking on the page. I'm still working on this. So far, I've spent about $42. All right, for the last week. Uh, And you know, that's, uh, you know, that I mean, that's I'm, I'm doing about $8 a day. So, you know, that's semi on par with what we're spending, which is actually pretty good because, you know, I I found that I want to be able to to know how much money I'm going to spend and if I if I tag if I put that money down like $8 a day, if I decide to 
go for, you know, $10 a day, I want to make sure that I actually spend $10 a day to get the results I'm trying to get. Does that make sense? Like if I spend $8 a day, I don't want, cause you could, you could say $8 and Google or Facebook, they won't just spend that $8, right? They could end up spending $1 and that could be because the search, the terms that you have, the way you set up your ads, all these things are not really bringing in exactly what you know you would like them to. So they won't necessarily show all your stuff or spend the money if it's not set up correctly. So I've done a couple iterations of the ads. I've added another one. I mean, into you could do multiple ads within one campaign uh, that shows up. And, uh, but I did do a massive, well, it's not massive, but I did kind of redo the website, uh, and a little bit too. I've been working on that and I've got a lot more to add to the website. The website needs to be built out. I mean, if we look at any of these bigger platforms, right, there's massive quantity of, of, of data and information and, you know, it needs to be, uh, very, you know, very professional, uh, it needs to be able to, also show some authority so that when people come, you know, they're, they, they, they're also not only are they wowed by the professionalism, but they also want to be, I, I want them to feel like this is a, you know, legitimate business. It's not a scam. And, you know, by, by the more information, the more things you have available, the more things people can dive in. Now, the cool thing is, is that the clicks, the conversions, Remember, not everybody comes and buys that particular moment. You know, they might come and check out because they're looking for something and then come back. So we're just starting to run this. I am liking the results of at least being able to see the traffic that is coming to the site from the ads and getting an idea of spending. Now, I'm not even doing multiple. All I'm doing is really running 10 keywords and looking at you know some of the things and and it by in turn it shows me also by the way i also get to see what people are searching for and finding my ads so like for example i can see that you know six of the clicks that i've gotten come from voiceover right if people start to, uh, typing in voice space over uh two clicks comes from voiceover is one word uh two clicks from voice space overs uh then there's voice acting auditions become a voice actor. See, now this is something that I'm going to do. So as you see, like these people typing in voice acting auditions, become a voice actor, all right? Browser vo at voice actor, browser voice actors, get paid to do voiceovers. How much to do voice actors get, how much do voice actors get paid? Pixar voiceover auditions. Now, if we look at this, right? Um, I can tell right away that about half of these need to they are not looking for voiceovers they're voice actors or people looking to you know learn more about the voiceover business so what google has and what i need to do is take these terms and put them into the they have something called negative keyword themes and basically what you do is you type in these keywords all right are these keywords or themes and it will um not uh bring up like if people search for that, it will not let them, it will, it will not like come up on that search, right? So if someone says, you know, how much do voice actors get paid? If I type that into the negative keyword, someone searches that, it's not going to bring up the ad. Does that make sense? And so like that's something that, you know, needs to, that needs to happen on my part. Um, there's more in here. There's like become voice actor, uh, how to practice voice acting, Browse voice actors. Now, that's a good one. Browse voice actors. Uh, where can I find voice actors? That's a good one. These are all I'm reading you key terms that people are typing in to find voice actors, which, you know, this is like gold. Right. Uh, and then the people what people are searching on Google to not like they're looking for information on how to become a voice actor or get better at voice acting. So this is valuable in so many different ways. Right. And I have all of these like and I'm just at, over time. This is all building up. And this allows me then to know what to target, what not to target, what to put into Google so that people aren't click, you know, aren't fine. Like I'm not spending money. So it's about a dollar. Like it, it cost me a dollar, right. When someone searched, get to get paid to do voiceovers, right. They clicked on that button and they clicked on my ad 
All right. And, you know, now what I could do and what I've seen other voice actors do, because I do run a coaching business, is that it can, you know, I can add to that. Um, you know, the place where I do demos and I can have a link going to a VO's journey, which is something I might do in the future. But right now, what I'm really trying to do is get the proof of concept that we can generate business. So if I look through here, not all of these clicks that I've gotten, right, are, are ones that are completely meant for people looking for voiceovers. Only a few of them really are, and and a lot of them are um, people looking to learn more about voice acting. But this is a really cool. I mean, like it to me, this is really exciting because uh, it's allowing me to see what I can do, what traffic I can drive, and what people are searching for. Which you know, we all know Google is the number one search uh, browser or, or the number one um, place to search online. So it is. That's the place to be. So this is definitely, like I said, a proof of concept, an experiment, working through it. I'm excited to keep bringing you guys more information as it comes, how I'm trying to capture that business online, which what I'm not doing right now is currently trying to capture email addresses. I'm not doing that, which might be something that I want to do later. Um, but what I'm trying to do right now is just see if, you know, I can get a job through the progression of the website. And right now what I'm doing is I'm offering, you know, they can purchase right through my website. I've been able to put that up, but you know, we'll continue to see, uh, how this is working. I have had purchases through in the past through my website. So I know people will purchase through my website. I've done voiceovers, but I want to see, like I said, if we can generate it through Google ads, et cetera. And now I'm not currently doing any social media ads or content with this because remember there, and, and this is, this is the thing, you know, uh, people need to find your website. They need to go to your services at the same time though. You need social media these days to validate who you are, what you're doing. You see what I mean? So a lot of what I do is under a VO's journey, of course. You know what I mean? And Anthony Pika VO. So I'm I'm still working through, like, like I said, this is all a proof of concept. We're going to figure this out, and it's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I promise you. But I think it's kind of cool to, again, document the journey. You know, I documented on this podcast the journey we went through of becoming a full-time voice actor. And now, you know, the journey we're going through to create a voiceover agency. And I think it's pretty cool uh, that we're all, you know, going on this journey together. So thank you guys, as always, for listening. Uh, and always feel free to message me. And, hey, I'd love for you to be a part of a VO's Journey Elite so, you know, you could join up. And, you know, right now there's not a cap yet on what we're doing because, you know, uh, I'm not quite ready to launch completely, although though we did have um, some auditions because I did get some work uh, privately came through looking for some people for the Virginia lottery. So we did some and sent some auditions off. So we're waiting to see, you know, if we, if we won any of those, which is exciting. Uh, but uh, you know, for, for, you know, we're still working through the proof of concept. So I'd uh, love for you to join Avio's Journey Elite. You can, of course, find that at Avio's Journey uh, or here in the description. But other than that, thank you guys so much for listening. As always, you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Peace. Peace.